Hi, this is Lou, welcome to my channel and in this week's video I'm going to be giving you a tour of my art studio which is a room in my house and I, I moved in here about 18 months ago. You know when you move into a room and you just got all of this stuff and you just like can we get all of this in here? So we put up some shelves and they came from a variety of different sources so none of them match um, but they're really useful so there's nothing wrong with them and we just filled them all up with boxes and art supplies and all of the things they have accumulated over the last, well, well, I've, I've been collecting art supplies for a long, long time, probably over 20 years, if not more. So, um, yeah, things just kind of got put on shelves and then I've been using it like for 18 months, making art in here and, um, and yeah, things kind of get filled up. They get a little bit cluttered and you start to realise that the, the way that you'd arrange things probably wasn't the best or like in the last year I've had a shift in focus and I'm doing uh, less um, less textile work and I'm doing more printmaking so I wanted to move the printmaking things closer to hand and the textile things a little bit further away so for the new year I've been giving this space a little bit of a declutter I've been sorting out some things, I've taken everything off the shelves, I've given them a good clean and I've put everything back and uh, I wanted to give you a little tour of it today. So what did I get? I got a ran up lamp and some bulbs. I got lots of these black to Jenna boxes. I got oh I'll show you on here. It's easier. I really like these. These have been really useful. Bought these a few years ago um, so I've bought a couple more. And I bought a round box. And a vase, because I like the shape of it. I also got these baskets. I don't know if they walk about. But yes, I think you can see, like sea grassy uh, woven baskets. They were from TK Maxx. And then I got this one for Christmas with some gin in it from somebody who knew that I needed a box and some gin. I also got this big crate here from my dad who bought it as a photographic prop. Um, so that's going to be really useful. I think I might store my photographic props in it. That's going to be really useful. I think I might store my photographic props in it. So the next step is to take everything down off the shelves. Um, give everything a good clean, including the shelves themselves. Take everything out of every box and yeah, I am decided to take this stuff off the walls as well. I love this poster, it's got all of my different typefaces on. Um, but it's starting to get a little worn having just been pinned up to the wall. So I'm going to take it down to try and preserve it a bit. And then I've got this grid wall which I... Uh, hang useful things on um, but I'm going to move it over and I've got a shelf and I've got a lamp to put up as well so I'm going to uh, drill some holes in the walls and uh, and put them up. There's something very satisfying about building these little black boxes from Ikea and because you can't see what's inside them I used my Dymo labeler to label them all. And having done all that organisation, here's the finished result. I want to show you some of these shelves before and after. Just to sh I love how much of a difference there is. It feels so much brighter and lighter and airier in here. 
what I really wanted was to make this a an inspirational space as well as a useful one and so I've put out a few things that I find interesting I got some plants I've um, I got storage that I found particularly pretty um, rather than just functional and uh, and yeah I, I love the way it looks now so I'd like to give you a little bit of a tour so when you come in, this first set of shelves here are mainly letterpress printing supplies. So I've got my big press down here under this little cover. Can't really see it. And then I've got a little one up here. And then these drawers are all like different typefaces for, for printing with. And then over here I've got spacers and different inks in these boxes here and tools down here. And then the rest of the, uh, the cupboards behind doors here are things that um, I don't use all that often, other kind of crafting supplies. So I've got fabric dies, I've got a die cutting machine, I've got my jelly plate up there which I haven't used for years. And then uh, down here I keep um, sewing supplies, so my sewing machine's in here, down there. This next set of shelves is mainly screen printing and this was the shelf that I couldn't quite get to look as pretty as I wanted because it's still got to be functional, I've got to have these things in reach even though they're not the prettiest but they're really what I need. So brushes for cleaning screens, squeegees, um, different kind of chemicals and stuff for uh, mediums uh, for making the ink with and then these are the acrylic paints that I use to make screen printing inks so them. and then down here I've got some boxes of ready mixed inks in lots of different colours And this shelf here, I've got more general art supplies. So I've got obviously paint brushes and then these little boxes, like this one's got my watercolour paints in. And uh, this is adhesives and, and then these have all got different types of card and paper in. And then that's pretty much what you get for the rest of the shelves. These are my good acrylic paints, the professional quality ones. And then right at the top, I have a, basically a whole shelf full of different pens, Sharpies, Posca pens, in those folders are all pro markers. And then this shelf here, I've kept a shelf of printmaking books in here. I took other art books and sewing books and I've put them in a different bookcase somewhere else. And then these big black boxes here have pretty much all got cut card and envelopes in which I take to workshops to make either notebooks with or to make um, cards with. So that would be letterpress or lino printed or screen printed cards. And then on this wall here I hung some of my prints a few weeks ago. Uh, a friend asked, what did I do with the prints that uh, didn't really work out so well or that were just one-offs or trials or uh, when I was trying out different colours? And I went, well, I'd just usually put them in a drawer somewhere. So I decided that I'd look out what frames I had and try and frame them up. So that's a, a one-off print that I did as a test. I've never made, never made an edition of this one. This is the lamp that I installed and um, I just needed some task lighting for my workspace which is the top of my plan chest down here. Speaking of the plan chest, I love this thing. It's huge. I think it's like A0 size. And then prints that I've made are in these drawers down here. So these ones are all uh, finished editions, ready for people to order them and for me to put in the post. Either that or to go and be framed and go to exhibitions. Let's 
down underneath here I wanted to use the space under the plan chest to store things so I've got these um, on casters little pull out trolley with my big paper cutter on and then this is a light box for exposing screens for screen printing that I built. Up here I've got my grid wall which has all of my like most used tools on it. This is a little knife um, and some washi tape and then kind of useful pens and scissors and things in here. And then here's like some inspiration photos that I've been working on um, and one of the prints I made. And then I've got this little shelf here that I can put prints on and uh, change them about so they're not fixed so I can put the latest prints that I've been working on up here so thanks very much for watching I really hope you enjoyed having a little look around my creative space um, I'm planning lots more content for 2020 on art and making of all sorts of different types. I've got a few sewing projects lined up um, but I'll be doing some more like art and craft tutorials as well. Um, I'm planning a new video every week. If you have any special requests or any questions or anything then do leave them in the comments down below. If you'd like to see uh, more content from me then please do subscribe. Um, if you like this video please press the thumbs up button, it all helps and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye bye!